SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol, is a common method to store details about a network device, as well as many different operating systems. And Central has the ability to connect to SNMP and retrieve information about a device, whether it's asset information or monitoring statistics. Many services built into Incentral are SNMP based. However, you may encounter a situation where there is not a built in service for something you're trying to monitor on a network device. After some research, you may discover the information you're looking for may be stored in SNMP. In Incentral, you can create custom SNMP based services. Administration, Service Management, Custom Services. Here, you can add a custom service based on SNMP. First, you should learn how SNMP works. SNMP uses what are called OIDs, unique numbers that point to unique details. These unique numbers don't mean much to you without the MIB file. Think of the MIB file as a phone book. You can have a phone number, but without knowing who the number calls, it's pretty meaningless. The MIM matches the OID to a user-friendly description. Using your favorite SNMP walk tool, like iReasoning's MIB browser, you can walk a device for SNMP details. In order to connect to a device, you need to know the device's community string, which acts like a password. The industry standard community string is public. Using the built-in MIBs within iReasoning's MIB browser, you can walk your local machine. Make sure you have enabled and configured SNMP within Windows services. You may need to install the SNMP feature if it's missing from the services list. Locate a few statistics you would like to monitor through Incentral. The Incentral Online Help contains the OIDs that are in use by existing services. A simple example to try would be a disk service. Locate the correct OIDs within the Incentral Online Help. Clear the results. Paste the OID from the online help into MIB browser. Select the operation Walk. The first results in the list are related to disks. Back in Central, name and optionally describe the service. Add the query and enter in your OIDs. For this custom service, you need disk description, allocation units, size, and use space. The values we copy will be used here under OIDs to be used. Make sure to trim the last value or index off the OID. Next, we'll copy size. Copy and paste the value for used. Next, we'll use the description as the identifier for which disk to monitor. We'll need both the OID and the value to do this.
trim the pasted value for anything left of the C colon. To use this service for other disks, we can enable editing. Enter a good hint help for the next technician who uses a service you built. Set your schedule, how often the service should scan. Lastly, configure your thresholds. To make our calculations, we'll use the online help side by side. Assign a data type that reflects the value. Optionally, configure your thresholds here, or you can also set them on the device. Save your service. Your service is ready to be applied manually to SNMP-enabled devices, or used in a service template.